the European Union published yet another pro progress report. Another year, another progress report. The seventh in a row, replete with the typical false promises of starting accession talks and with the bureaucraties that is so common in the European Union and that is so much blah blah blah. So I delved into the hefty tome trying to understand what it is that they are saying about the Macedonian economy. The government gets good marks for sound monetary policy, for improving the business climate and for attracting some foreign direct investments. But overall I got the impression that the report is saying that the government's main accomplishments are based on massive increases in government spending and on a soaring external debt and domestic debt. In other words, the government is borrowing more and more in order to spend more and more, and this constitutes its main accomplishments. That struck me as a bit harsh, so I decided to conduct a simulated interview with the document itself. I will ask the questions, and the answers will be direct quotes from the European Union 7th Progress Report about the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. That is the official title. We are still not the Republic of Macedonia in Europe. So here goes. Question. Does Macedonia have a functioning market economy? Answer. To remind you, all the answers are direct quotes from the report. Well, the answer is no, but it is at a good level of preparation for developing a market economy. So, rejoice! After 25 years of independence, Macedonia is at a good level of preparation to develop a market economy, but it doesn't have one yet. Next question. Is the management of public finances in Macedonia sound? Is it proper? Are the public finances well managed? Answer, directly from the report, no. There has been some, quote, backsliding. Fiscal targets were relaxed. Public spending remains tilted towards transfers and subsidies. Development of overall public debt, as well as its transparency, remains a major concern. So, bad marks for managing the public finances. Let's try something else. Question. Will unemployment, the unemployment rate continue to drop? Will the government create more jobs? Will it reduce the unemployment rate among the young and among the not so young? Answer. The report says no. Unemployment rate will remain high at 28% for the foreseeable future. Wow. Let's move on. Is Macedonia prepared to face competition from manufacturers in the European Union should it ever join the European Union? Answer. Yes, but only moderately. It's a diplomatic way of saying, hell no. According to the report, Macedonian businesses have not been prepared by themselves or by the government to compete with EU manufacturing. In other words, if Macedonia joins the EU tomorrow, and opens up its borders, so to speak, to European exports, local manufacturing will be all but obliterated. Good news. Next, my question. Are youngsters trained and educated for the jobs market? They go to the university, their parents pay a lot of money. When they exit the university, private universities and state universities, are they ready, ready to find a job? Answer in the report, absolutely not. The country needs to improve the employability of youth by better aligning education with labor market needs, quote, unquote. So I'm trying a different angle. Question, does foreign direct investment feed into the local economy, as the government keeps claiming? Is foreign direct investment good for the local domestic economy? The report gives a stunning answer, no. Foreign direct investment is not good for the local economy. The government needs to, quote, upgrade linkages between foreign direct investors and the domestic economy. Not much is left, is it? So we move on. Question. 
Is public investment through the budget, is it rational? Is it productive? The opposition keeps rattling on about Skopje 2014, although it's already 2015, and keeps saying that it is a non-productive way of wasting hundreds of millions of euros which would have better been invested in, let us say, schools or hospitals or whatever. Is it true? According to the report, yes, the opposition has a point. It is true. Govern uh, state investment through the budget, the way the government invests the funds through, of the budget, is not productive and it's not rational. <clears throat> the report says the government should better prioritize investment. Again, it's a European way of saying the government is wasteful and misallocates its scarce resources and the money of its citizens. Question. Is the private sector strong and vibrant? Or you know what? Is the private sector stronger and more vibrant than it has been in the last few years? Answer. No, it is not. Quote. The private sector in Macedonia is not competitive. It is hampered by weak contract enforcement, translation, corrupt judges, and a large informal economy. Still, after 10 years of declaring that the informal economy is all but dead, the European Union insists that it is larger than ever. Question. How come the official statistics are so positive, bright and optimistic, and the report is not so? Answer. Because of government investments. Government spending. The report says... Government investments in public, road, rail and energy infrastructure projects, not to mention endless construction of everything from monuments to baroque palaces, that's my addition, it's not in the report. Well, government investment is the engine that drives the economy. The more the government spends, the higher, the greater the gross domestic product and the healthier the economy. So it's from one pocket, the citizen's pocket, to another, the government's pocket, and back to the citizen's pocket. Why is the level of unemployment so high? asks Samvakni. And the report answers, owing to structural impediments and new jobs, mainly in low productivity sectors and agriculture. These jobs, says the report, are supported by public subsidies. In other words, the government pays to create new jobs, but they are not real jobs. They are low-paying, they are not productive. They, are, they don't tackle, they don't cope with the main problem in the Macedonian labor market. And so, as long as the government pays for, to create new jobs, there will be new jobs. Once this stops, these new jobs, so-called, will evaporate. They are not real. They are a fantasy. The public sector, according to the report, I'm quoting, the public sector in Macedonia accounts for 20% of total employment. 20% of total employment. Compared, for example, to 5% in most countries in Asia. Well, apart from this good news, Malkis, everything else is okay. The economy is flourishing. Statistics are optimistic, FDI is flowing in, inflation is subdued, business is thriving. And if you don't see signs to any of these claims, it's all in your head. Go to a shrink.